Hello. Shall I introduce it then? Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> uh, so this is the next episode of Jinxing the Broom. I am joined here with Ms. Kayla Treasure. Hey there. And if it sounds noisy, that's because we're on the back of a tour bus, which is the noisiest part of a tour bus. Yes. Everyone else is taking a nap, so uh, this is just what we had to do to just bring happen. entertainment into your homes. Absolutely. Kill 90 minutes of time. Sorry, one hour, 36 minutes and 11 seconds going by my copy of today's film on iTunes. Awesome. Yeah, we can do this. Cool. Okay, well, so... um right into Columbus, Ohio. The film, yeah. Where are we right now? We're somewhere in the middle of Pennsylvania. Yeah, I think we're Lancaster, which is about eight uh, hours away. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what film are we watching? So today we're going to watch a Christmas classic. Christmas. A Christmas classic? Are you high? What are you talking about? Our bus was on fire via gas. <laughs> yes, it so was a little bit on fire. We right? might be having a little bit of an issue. Uh, we're going to be watching a Halloween classic. Yes. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Starring Bette Midler, the other one, and Sarah Jessica Parker. Correct. Correct. There we go. And it's a musical. Hit it. Okay, so I'm going to hit play. I'll do three, two, one. So those of you who are insane enough to watch this along <laughs> can also do likewise so uh, got it ready are you ready Dresha? ready three two one play and Disney logo retro Disney logo I do love that <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think okay, from memory yeah. this starts in the past Yes, we must start in the year 1693, oh. uh, which is... Columbus sailed the ocean sea. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> is that how it goes? You're very close. Bet uh, Midler. Oh. And there is the title. Looking good. Oh, oh. Oh, wobbly. Oh, man. I haven't seen this movie Early in CGI. a whole year. And there's flight. I don't flight. know who name flying. Well, there's a shadow of flying. I do not know who that Kenny Ortega is. Um, let's, we we were supposed to be prepared. Uh, we were supposed to be. Sarah uh, Jessica Parker. I think that's the director. Yes, it who, would be. If I'm right, also directed the um, High School Musical movies. Really? Mm -hmm, the whole trilogy, and also Michael it's Jackson's This Is It. So he almost did well. <laughs> he almost did. So close to a solid career. Thora Birch. I, this, is that too loud for you in your it's ear? It's just a little... It, the only thing is that it's... Uh, I just can't hear you. Uh, oh. So I could just talk to myself, which would be fine. But I don't know if that's as entertaining. Oh. Oh, it's there's him. There's little Timothy McGee, uh, who is that actor's reoccurring character on NCIS. <laughs> oh, I see. I was like, I don't think... I have absolutely no idea what his think name is in real Timothy life. I think he's called Timothy in this. It is Sean Murray. Oh. Uh, Thackeray. Thackeray. I too have not watched this for a while, but this is the main character. Is he the one that's a cat? He becomes a cat. Yeah. Yep. And then Sabrina the Teenage Witch stole the little animatronic cat they use in this. Correct. Oh. Purple smoke. Purple smoke going into the sky. You told me purple is the color of magic. That was me. I told yeah. you that. I think in the last podcast. Yeah. <laughs> is that really... It's really when you said that. Fact. That feels real. Wait, this is all set around Salem, isn't it? This is, yes. So now. Uh, which I lived very close to there. Because you lived in Boston. 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 Where we'll be going soon. Uh, yeah, Salem is where they had a bunch of the, you know, obviously the Salem witch trials and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a, around Halloween time, Salem goes insane. For Halloween, we can. But I want to visit there because we're, we're going heading towards Boston on the tour. Oh yeah, we'll go. Yeah, it's really close. Um, it's on the north shore of the Boston area, but say it's it should have started its sort of Halloween decor at, should, by the time we're there. In a oranges, weeks. burnt ochres, blacks. Is that what Halloween means? They're to you? just colors. Those colors. Oh okay. Yes. Then yeah. yes. No, not oranges. The fruit. Okay. Got it. That would be insane. I was like, this is a very interesting... Can you tell Can't me more about Halloween in Norwich? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an orange. 
Strange. And there goes Thackeray. He's doing stuff. He's peeping through a window. Oh, this is their house. The witch's this house. Is right. Ow, my head. Comes to me, so are you okay? <laughs> yes. They're very nicely color coded as well, aren't they? Hmm? They're very nicely color coded as well. Yeah, they do a good job with the costumes. Oh no. There's uh, a very ugly Bette Midler. Bette Midler? Not because she's ugly, just in the. They've her, made she's her ugly. Old and gross. And buck toothed. Right. Well, they're gonna eat, eat her soul and then be happy. <laughs> she's Bette Midler has never been bad. Has never been bad. Even in Stepford Wives. She was oh, good. No, yeah, that's I think you're probably right there. Yeah. I it think I just we just been searching on MDB and I think I read that this was she said this is her favorite role she's done. Yes, yeah. Wasn't there a thing pretty recently that they were going to do uh, a sequel? Yeah, I don't know if that ever really was the thing, but I know they've been doing it as a musical, like a touring show. Have they? Uh, which is really, that's a great idea. You could have some a lot of fun with that. I remember as a kid being very freaked out by that book with an eye. Even terrifying. though I knew it was like a little puppety thing, uh, it just made me feel queasy. Yeah, sure. That's how I read. <laughs> that's a trick you can actually do, isn't it? Turning the pages. I'm sure it is for sale somewhere. somewhere yes, in a or magic shop. Or you could absolutely build it. There was that guy who uh, the amazing Randy exposed for, uh, he would claim to use chi or something to turn pages in a book. And he was just blowing. And they're like, I <laughs> That's think awesome. he was on some interview show. And the guy goes, like, I can hear you blowing. And he just, the guy just flips out. It was great. Oh, that's <laughs> really great. Amazing Randy's sort of gone dark for a while now, hasn't he? I mean, you just have the documentary out about him. But. That's true. Didn't they cancel the uh, million dollar prize? Did they? That's in oh, there. That's also, a million dollars isn't that much anymore, maybe? Right. Maybe he also... I wonder if he has it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <so laughs> he could have gone, gone ah, Financial uh, advisor went, hey, if someone, you know, it's not going to happen, but if someone <laughs> does turn up and fools you with their powers, <laughs> you haven't got a million dollars. Yeah, I've been promising this for 20 years, and you know what? I think it's time I buy a private jet. <laughs> Shall I look up some facts? Let's look up some facts. Oh, yeah, we can look up some more information. Here is a, f a first fact I found on IMDb okay. trivia. Hit me. <coughs> Sorry, I just choked on some food. Um, the script was bought by Disney in the mid 1980s. But the studio sat on the project for eight years until they decided to make it. It was originally called Halloween House. It's supposed like to be Halloween much darker Town? and scarier. Yeah, I guess so. Halloween Town is another classic. That's one we should definitely Oh, you mentioned watch. that. I've not heard of what that. What a movie. I mean, it's got a full story and characters. <laughs> and oh, hello. a story and characters. Yeah. And drama. Sounds like a good movie. A boy. A boy. I like that that's their reaction to him. A boy. Apparently, this, his part was originally offered to Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, I did, but then he took a... Uh, What's eating Gilbert the Grape? Grape guy. Grape Grape, yes. Yeah. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Right, him. Also uh, starring John Old Depp. Ah. Uh, First we should, we should only forever watch movies from here on out that have some sort of relationship to Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, He can't okay. be in them. Is it like Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon? It's yes, it must. <laughs> we must have that. Also, random question. How much room do you have on your left? Because I <laughs> am I squashing have, it. It's not so much that it's I have these wheels that are slowly imprinting into my rib. I can move to the left. Thank you. Right. Moving, moving. <laughs> Sorry if we mentioned, but we're on the back of a bus. Yes. Yeah. The back of a bus. It's not comfortable. The back no. of a tour bus gets filled with filled right. rather with people's uh, crap. I remember at the beginning of this tour, uh, when we were getting on this bus, I tried to bring my suitcase on, and Jared said, "Do you mind if you don't?" bring your suitcase on because we really don't have a lot of room mm. and then everyone else's suitcase is in this room that's strange so, isn't it I'm just gonna I'm gonna write that down as a mental note that I've written down oh they're all young and beautiful now are they they're younger now I love her 
love her so much. Does her mouth actually do that? Ben Midler's so cool. She is cool. My memory of this as well that Sarah Jessica Parker's one is just like a little nymphomaniac, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That, yes, exactly. And one of them rides, uh, they ride uh, Hoovers. Vacuum cleaners, sorry. Yeah, um, uh, uh, she, she does. Not Bette Midler or Sarah Jessica Parker. Should we look up um, her name? I feel yeah, rude I, for I not knowing her name. I, I couldn't understand uh, how to say it. Oh. So yeah. I just gave up. So then I gave up. Oh, Bette Miller was born in Hawaii. Hawaii? Oh, uh, I knew I loved her. Ugh, look at that creepy eye. This is the squishy noise I don't like as well. Oh, yeah. Why? why? Sorry. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Aw, the book. This is something that we should get for our show. What's that? Of Champions. The Just flying a book, book. That we can turn to on occasion. Magically. For a spell. And it, giant beam flies out of it when we need it. A giant beam? Feels right. Oh, a beam of light. Yeah. I was yeah, thinking yeah. like yeah, a wooden that's beam. Oh. Steel beam. <laughs> yes. That, we probably need many of those. This is, yeah, I'm freaking out slightly. It's was this young man quite fancy ball when you were in your youth? Wait, what'd you say? Is, the, is he one of those characters from films that people your age... Quite fancied. Yes. 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 yes, yes, I thought so. My partner has said the same. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, oh, he's, he's an cat. animated cat. Wow. Wow. Okay, another fun thing about Bette Midler. She's currently 72 years old. Is she? That woman hasn't missed a beat. <laughs> She's just on it. She sang Wind Beneath My Wings a couple of years ago. You could tell that she... Is older. Is, is older. But gosh, I mean, she's still there. Like, still got pair of lungs. That was so good. What other iconic films did she do? I know she did Beaches. Correct. She was in the remake of Stepford Wives. Yeah. <laughs> she was in. Oh, the Christopher first Walken Wives in that? Club. Oh, uh, I don't know. I didn't um, pay that much attention while no. watching. No, it was a little bit of a rough movie. Um, I mean, she did like Fiddler, Fiddler on the Roof, uh, on Broadway and things. For the boys! That was another big I've one. I've never heard of that. Okay. Um, it's rather... It's about, like, entertaining um, the American army. Oh. I think, truth. anyway, I might have just made that up. It sounds like something. Jinxed. Uh, magic book. Uh, jinxed? Uh -oh. I maybe have heard of Jinxed. I've n uh, yeah, I don't know. There it is, though. It's on the internet, so it so, must be real. So it must be true. Mm -hmm. Gypsy. She's done That's a lot. It. She's done so much. She was a voice in a few cartoons, I yep. remember. I mean, she's just great. Wow, it's noisy in this bus right now. <laughs> ah. Oh, and they all died. See you in a few hundred years. Another fascinating fact. Tell me. I love IMDb facts. Because I think they're just user-submitted, aren't they? I probably. Because sometimes the grammar is way off. Oh, right. But this is the first Disney movie that mentions virgins. I'm so glad to know that. Yes. How, I can't think of any others. What's the second movie? I don't know. I wish to delve deeper into this factoid. Strangely, this film was released in the summer of 1993. Oh, yeah. Rather right. than the autumn that's slash right. fall. And I was three. How old were you? I was born in 1986. So, seven, eight, nine, nineteen, ninety-one, nine. I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> if I were ever a teacher, I'd want to be this teacher. She's terrifying and yet no bullshit. I'm pretty sure I had a t-shirt just like that kid's wearing as well. Did you make it? I think I probably had hair like that as well. Oh, that's great. Curtains. Is that what that hairstyle is called? Curtains? Because it's like curtains. Like, they come down and they part. I think maybe curtains oh, is more when it's over your fringe and your face. Huh. Aw. 
such a cynical teenager. It's her. It, yeah, the lady oh. from this film. And also, uh, I've got her name. She's in what? She's in other stuff. Oh, okay, from great. From the 90s. Cool. And everyone loves her. Okay, you ready? So, according to BuzzFeed, uh-huh. which we're about to find out if this a is real. A reliable source of internet. Always. The no- she's going to hand him back that note, but it's going to be in the next scene. But it will actually be like a different note. It's like they lost the first one. Oh, it's in a, a continuity in the prop department. error. Yes, yes. Oh. That's what, that's good IMDb facts. You always find goofs. And it's always things like, this yes. song's playing on the radio, but it didn't come out until <laughs> a month after this was yeah. allegedly made. Early in the film, after his teacher has finished telling the Sanderson sister's story, Max doodles on a piece of paper. The doodle reads, The Grateful Dead, with a marijuana leaf above it. Brilliant. It's a good fact. Oh, that's great. The film takes place on October 31st, 1693 and 1993. Oh, this is where their love begins. Oh, these are not great facts here on uh, Oh, Jennifer Lopez auditioned for the role of Sarah Sanderson. No, she did not. She did. What? J-Lo, I know that you're listening. Girl, tell us about that experience. <laughs> Jenny from the block. Jenny from the block. She's too busy now judging world of dance. Is that what so, she does? I mean, she also, you know, does other things. Yeah, totally different that note. Is, that totally is different note. Paper. Oh, my goodness. Someone forgot. Was he, was he just brushed box. off there? Did she just give back his, the number? Yes. His number? yes. Oh. So we visit American towns, and they still look exactly like this. So why yeah. is that the case? Um, because we don't got time. <laughs> we got, nobody got time to build things. <laughs> Nobody. You know, well, what might be different is there's no more forest like this. Those are now oh, like true. condos. And I see. Better, I see. There are seven statues made of Bette Midler for the scene in which she bursts in the sunlight towards the end of the movie. Wait, seven. Wow. Spoiler, spoiler alert. If you not watch oh. this one. She Cute. bursts in the sunlight. This is a trope that's not still around, is it? The two yeah, cool but so idiot bullies. Why are they there? I don't know. Jay and Ernie. Those are definitely solid bully names. Yeah. Check out his headphones as well. That little oh, round wrap around. Yes. In eerie type ones. It's funny because those are sort of, aren't those very much like the ones that you wear on your neck now? The, oh, they yeah. have the little, they like retract. All the fancy yes. people wear them. Yeah. yeah. But they have Bluetooth. Yes. And not attached yes. to a compact disc Walkman. Yes, also they are not attached to things. It's just the necklace that happens to be headphones. The necklace from the future. <laughs> The woman who played um, the girl interest, Allison, um, she's not really in anything. <laughs> You're just looking up. Yeah, I was just trying to see what other things I, you might have seen her in, but um, nothing really. A movie called Vegas. How to what, Vegas? Just Vegas. Just, just Vegas. Yep. Starring in Vegas. Oh, they took his shoes. Big miracle. His new Nikes. Oh, and oh, do you know what? Have you ever had to ride a bicycle with no shoes? I have. It's not comfortable. No, the I feel so bad things. for him. It's just such a sad thing. But like, good on him. He he made it home. I also think that although the parents in this film are in three scenes total <laughs> it's a really good learning experience on like how you should not parent your children because no, uh, he's like clearly upset and they're like you know what he's upset he has no shoes let's go to a Halloween party he, he loves a good Halloween party yeah. I mean we Wait, want to invite him yeah don't they leave him we're like, gonna go yeah, yeah. As the parents go yeah. out you hang out with your tiny sister and we'll go have fun He's an animal lover. Yeah, animal, yeah, having fish makes you an animal lover. <laughs> but he talked to them. He said hello. He's got fish on his bed sheet. Yeah. 
He loves fish. He's got Look at his pillow. Look at, oh. his, uh, Look at that. So many. Go sleep, sleep, bye bye. Oh. Okay, so. Super duper honesty time. Oh, it's her from American Ooh. Beauty. Oh, yes, she's in a bunch of stuff in this time frame. Right Laura Birch. Yes. Did you actually know that, or did you look it up a couple minutes ago? No, and remember it? it came up in the beginning. Right. I was like, Thora Birch, that's the lady from that thing. And then now yes. I remember, because yeah. her face hasn't changed. Yes. Um, also, we should play the Six Degrees Away from Kevin Spacey idea, too. <laughs> There's one. There's one. We did it. We did it. Uh, Kevin oh, no, Spacey may like have Kevin groped Spacey that man, anymore. so that could work. We of them anymore. Gosh darn it, people. Yeah. I forget that I can't like you. Stop doing things. That's the two people that are currently in the bin. <laughs> yeah. The big Hollywood bin. Oh. Uh, he plays drums. He's cool. He's absolutely not just playing. Just hundred percent. That's also the basic. Yes. Bum, bum, that's bum, that's bum, on bum, my garage bum, bum, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> she's wearing a lot of lipstick. So much <laughs> lipstick. I'm actually. She's got quite big lips, so it really shows. Right. They're very prominent. Like women spend a lot of money to get those lips and she's what eight <laughs> does she keep the cool tooth cap or is that just because she's little she had a tooth cap does she still have a tooth cap uh i'll look up a picture um, yeah wow, that's, oh, a screen. that's a thing for the 90s isn't it yep i wonder if that's what she had to do to get this role can you just I come in and scream that's Mom. the kind of thing isn't that like uh, drew barrymore in et just had to cry yes. or something or yes some story like that oh look at his shades man he's just super cool Look at his little jacket. It was awful 501 He's jeans, dad jeans, <laughs> they would be considered these days. Yes. He's a rap singer. Yeah, oh, That's boy. what he said. He was not a rapper. He's a rap singer. See. Is his Halloween costume. Very a specific. A rap singer. Uh, da, 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 da. doesn't smile in pictures. Is, it, is she concerned um, about the gap in her teeth? It's fair. It's not really there. No, maybe she just had braces for yeah. a while. But her face still looks exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Good for you, girl. Go, like, girl. You know that that's her. Yeah, absolutely. And her lips. Look at them. They're perfect. It's true. Oh. The lips shrink over time as well. Yeah, and hers barely did. Was it really like this in the States? Was it really, if you did you grow up on a street like this where it was quite a community going oh, well, around a Halloween? I thought you were gonna be like, did you grow up on this on a street where two teenage kids asked you for <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> Um Were you bullied? Yes. Is it like this? Is it really yes. like there are We did a show before you were in Champions of Magic, those dark dark days. Um we uh, <gasps> Thanks. We performed in America and it was Halloween and like yeah, we came out of the show and there was a bunch of kids trick or treat in the local stores. Yes. Like the day before or the day after. Yeah. It was really sweet. It used to be when I was younger. It's, I think it's just drastically changed because of people being stupid. Is we used to go out and we would get hundreds of kids from the neighborhood coming to your your house, and yeah. you would go out for hours, hours walking around town trying to get can as much candy as you could. And now it's like, I think my parents, in the exact same house, maybe get 10 kids now. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of sad. Uh, in my, like, I live in like an area where there's a lot of houses, but you maybe just go trick or treat for about half an hour. Yeah. Not really worth it. Yeah. No one really does any decorations. One or two houses do in the UK. Right. Sort of uh, fuddy-duddy people. People who almost mm -hmm. certainly voted to leave Europe. <laughs> uh, who say like oh, it's a stupid American holiday? Uh, yeah, there are some. I know a couple of people that start planning Halloween in August, and they start making their uh, house into this insane. That's a really big thing here in the U.S. Huge. Yep. Absolutely huge. Like the de the decorations you see in this movie. Yes. Are they're of its time? This is definitely a '90s style decor, but absolutely, there would absolutely be. A bale of hay and some jack lanterns to lay on yeah. and cry. Lots of fake autumn leaves or real oh, autumn absolutely. leaves. Absolutely, or real ones. Yeah, and a wreath. I've seen the the you know the wreaths, which we normally yep. think of as a Christmas thing in the UK. Oh, well, they're ever they're for uh, everything. You have the uh, Easter. Yes, it's true. Labor Day wreaths. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> always. Uh, Arbor Day because you just get the tree branches and celebrate the tree. Oh. Arbor Day. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> is Arbor Day a thing? What's Arbor Day? It is in my calendar. 
Oh. It's, it's literally a tree day. Oh. Have you got like a pagan calendar? Uh, no. Oh. It's just the apple. It's just the apple. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> apple sometimes tells me about these fun things. What are they looking oh, at? What are they uh -oh. about to see? Uh oh, something's happening. Oh no. What did? It's a bit quiet. I think he might have said. Oh, he's Something making her feel better. He's been a good. Oh, he's a good old brother. He's Aww. so good, even though he's got dad jeans on. How did they not notice Wait, they the largest in house in the block? I know. Like I'm, you're, you run over to cry in somebody's bush. hay bale. <laughs> you're probably gonna notice that they're rich people. Isn't this the one with a slightly weird, creepy uh, guy in? So when the witches turn up later, they think he's Satan. I think he's Satan. Oh yes, that's right. And they start oh, worshiping it's her him house. as the devil. No, okay, Allison. yeah. So going back to that scene where his sister discovered he has a crush on Allison, he was cuddling his pillow, going, "Oh, Allison." Oh, he was. Is that's that a, a thing people did. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. No. I always just wondered that. There's just some random person that I didn't know hugging a pillow. Hugs a pillow and calls out someone's name. Yeah. No. Is this to indicate they're a posh and there is no liquid in those cups? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I love, I slash hate terrible liquid ah. in cup acting. Yep. He also just moved it around so much yeah. that anything in there would have just come flying yes. out. So did she. So they're having like a fake tea. Mm. So is there? No, oh, no. Yabos. That's a very ninety slang. Yep. No one's ever called boobs yabos. I've never heard that word outside of this movie. No. This is a time in which people were going, you know, cowabunga. Right. Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Am I Don't right? Don't have a cow, man. Yeah, Don't exactly. Have a cow, man. I. I also just want to point out something. Um, I've been recording into my headphone mic. Yeah, I've noticed that you were talking into your headphone mic. I'm like, that's not the one that's, I, uh, that's yeah. not the one that's recording. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we stopping? Oh, we're at a truck stop. <gasps> oh my gosh. My bus driver then, must have to go to the bathroom. You must, must do. Because on a tour bus, there is there is a a restroom. Right. But it's very much a no. Poo policy. I was yes. trying to think of a way around that to say it politely. A non-liquid. No solids. Yes, no solids. Non-liquid. No. <laughs> Nothing. Only air can go in there. Very roundabout way. Yeah. Where did she get that witch lollipop? I she just picked it up from somewhere. Oh my That's god. Wendy and Peter Pan. Wendy and Peter Pan. But they're, Wendy and Peter Pan are in love. Why would you want to make your brother that's true. Peter that's Pan? Bit, that's a little bit creepy. Oh, legend has it. Bones of 100 children buried here. Wow, this is fun, isn't it? It's definitely a good idea to bring your eight-year-old <laughs> sister to. <laughs> but she loves witches. Oh, I see. Oh, that's the house. They've let it overgrow. Right, and they're going to light the candle. Oh, yeah, and then bring them back to life. Or the right. book back to life. Or something bad. I'm just stretching my arm. Oh my god! We can swap. There it is. There it is. There it is. Is her bowl lit? Is her what? So okay. So you see that um, the trick or treating thing that looks like a jack o' lantern? Yeah. Okay. So I absolutely have one of those. That exact one. Yes. And it does not light up. And they're using it as a lantern right now. It's made of plastic. If that were on. That a light in it. It's just going to have like a torch inside, isn't it? Like a flashlight no, torch. Cool. Because it, no, this is the 90s. That, I'm pretty sure that technology existed. I, I absolutely don't Also, another it. indication that he's cool, he's got a Zippo lighter. I think he just found that. But it's his now. Absolutely it is, which means he is cool. He doesn't have shoes yet. <laughs> have you seen it yet? <laughs> what happened to his new Nikes? <laughs> They're on a... Also, those fake cobwebs are a big part of the 90s. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And also some, some parts of today. 
Cobwebs are still a thing today. <gasps> it's that it's cat. It's a black cat. It's He's been there for 400 years. Why does this girl know so much about the witch house? Um, she's lived in Salem her whole life. Oh. So she just knows. It's part what? of Is she reading that? Sure. Is she supposed to be reading that? She is reading it. This is a museum now. Just an active one. Did it close down? Well, no, they, it's open as just a museum. To oh. say this is where they, the witches used to live. Actually, I went to a witch museum recently. You did? Where's mm -hmm. that? In Cornwall, which is a place in England. Okay, great. Good Boscastle, the name of the place. Oh, it washed fun. away in 2000 and something. Oh, wow. That's They cool. had a flood. Because of witches? Um, some say. Great. Those people are wrong. Right. <laughs> I'm almost certain no one says that. Hey, are you telling me that witchcraft oh. isn't real? Yes. No. I think that this movie shows you that it is. This documentary. Right. Yes. It's a documentary about witches. And it's a, it follows the journey of a young teenage boy who... No! Oh, he said the, he said the, said the title he of the film. Said, said the title yes. of the film. The, about the 29 minute mark. He lit Brilliant. the candle. It oh. turned black. Oh. If only young Timothy McGee, before he became an agent for the NCIS, could have stopped them in the form of a cat. Wait, which one did? What? Oh, the guy who plays the cat. Yes. The guy who plays the <laughs> cat. <laughs> These are the anti circus of his time. <laughs> oh no. Green lights means baddies. There's the creepy little book. I didn't so like the creepy little book. At the uh, at the castle, the magic castle in LA, there's a, the Houdini seance room. Oh, uh, yes. And you can get like a dinner, drink, and a seance package thing. Oh, delightful. It's right. It's kind of fun. Uh, and it's pretty well, you know, it's pretty well established that like the seance is just a show. It's going to be fun. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're going to summon back Houdini from the dead. And everything up to a certain point. So I would say 80% of the show is sort of up to the discretion of the seance leader. So the mm -hmm. three people who do it. And then at the end, they all have the same ending, which is stuff around the room, changes and moves, and all this stuff happens. Yeah. And this the table of which you have just eaten dinner on and everything. All the lights go out. And then the seance person is like saying a spell type thing to summon back Houdini. And the table is this hydraulic table that then lifts up and moves. But it is so clearly from the like the 80s. <laughs> and you're sitting there and they're like, Harry, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Like it's like a broken old <laughs> fairground ride. <laughs> and you're like, oh, oh. Oh, oh, spooky. That died real fast, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so luckily they are redoing it in the entire room. Oh, they're redoing it. That's yeah. good. Uh, that is quite famous. I've heard of the Houdini seance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, they're pretty fun. Oh. oh. The witches are back. Children. Children. What do children the, smell like? Though. Um, he looks like he smells of Old Spice. <laughs> I was trying to think of a 90s reference. <laughs> Axe. Axe. Lynx, as we call it in the UK. Lynx. Oh, I love that. Also, I love, again, I don't remember her name, the third witch. <laughs> um, With the lip. Yes. She's l just so good in this. She is. That's been crazy. Even Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker, who I don't really think I've ever seen her in anything else. Other than Sex in the City. I really don't think I've seen her in anything else. Have you never seen, like, even just a promo for Sex in the City? I've seen the trailer, yeah. Ah, there we go. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it looks like that. Slightly older. Got but you. less witchy. Okay. All right. Yeah, maybe That's a little it. bit little bit more color in her yeah. face. Yeah, exactly. Style. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. How are you? Good. Good. We're just watching a movie, talking to people. You know, you get it. Need anything? <laughs> Bye, Mike. That was Mike. He works on the show. He opened the door like you would if you were disturbing someone sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? It was very nice. Oh my god, I, I just love her so much. Oh wait, so uh, we've not been paying attention to this film. Do no. they want to eat her or do whatever they do to make themselves younger? Yeah, well yeah, they just came back and so they're, they're hungry. Uh, they haven't eaten for 400 years. No. 
They could use a snack. <laughs> oh my god. That was a very funny reaction for Quick Middle. He must be warm. He's wearing a t shirt, jumper, jacket. I mean, I know it's supposed <laughs> to be October, but. It's the 90s. It was about layers. Oh, he has got new shoes. They're boots. <laughs> I wish I could just do that to someone. You. You. There. there. Done. <laughs> so, this is also like just about the only magic we see the witches do besides fly, That's isn't true. it? That's true, yeah. She has the power to harness electricity. Which can move objects. Right. That's more of a sort of a trope of the time, isn't it? Like yes. electric coming out your fingers, doing stuff. Right. Uh, but that's it. Like, what we don't up. see anything else, really. Which is can famously be defeated by being either hit with a frying pan, as right. we just saw, or a bag of sweets and candy. Yep. It needs to just explode when it comes on impact. Yes. So the candy's good. This documentary is very unrealistic. Yeah, I'd like to know more about the cat. What, the real cat? Well, right, I mean, like, how did he decide, like, how did he be able, how was he able to turn back into a human? And then how did he decide, after being alive for 400 years in the form of a cat, to solve crime? Is the NCIS. I see, right. I saw you, this, you're doing a bit. Oh, uh, you're doing a bit there. No. <laughs> I see. This is a documentary. I was confused. Uh, I so how did this kid work out that... Because he's just set off the water thing. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Cat can talk. He's also lost his accent from when he the opening scene happened. He has. Why, how are they doing that special effect? Is that just stop motion animation or something? It looks really good. No. I think this... That's... Cartoon? The cat has just his facial muscles. <sighs> <laughs> just. I don't sound why they're freaking out about the water. So um, Max right. just set off the sprinklers. Sprinkles. And they started freaking out. How did you know? Yeah. Tis but water. Oh, oh so it is but water. That's about the only line that I Did remember. they think it was holy water? Yeah, I think he said it was when he's when he was doing it. He was like rain from something, whatever, holy water. Rain from space. <laughs> space I like, rain. I like this part too, where they think this is a bl like the Black River. <laughs> uh, yeah. You remember this film much better than I do. Yep. I think I've already watched this more recently. <laughs> Tis firm. Yep. It's a road. <laughs> Well, how do they know? How do they know what a road is? Oh, you like well, the way, I like the way they walk together, time. though. That's good, right? Yes. <laughs> it's basically, just all three of them just chewing the scenery the whole yes. time. Oh, uh, they're running away from a fire truck. Yes. They have no idea. They have never seen a car. Then no, that's uh, yes, yeah. of course, yes. How do they do the cat? Is it early is it, CGI? Yeah. Is it? Any, do you think that they like? Oh, the please dots don't. on their face? What's that called? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think um I don't think they had that motion tracking technology. No? I am gonna Google and find out. Okay, you got it. Uh I don't have signal. Oh. Cat S F X from I can hold this. Oh. Switch off on the microphone. I suddenly become very loud. Oh, Billy Butchardson. He's the one. He comes back. Ugh. Thackeray. I wonder, what, do you think Thackeray was an authentic 1680s it name? It sounds like it, but was it, though? And do you think it slowly became Zachary because people just got lazy? Yeah. It sounds like a speech impediment, isn't it? Right. But it would have been... Maybe it was. Yeah. Zachary. Like if Daffy Duck was the guy. <laughs> Zachary. <laughs> Suffering succotash. <laughs> I feel, I do like just watching Sarah Jessica yes. Parker. Because she's absolutely just crazy. Yeah. It's quite she's right now eating a spider. She is, yes. 
Hocus Pocus cat. Hocus Pocus, humane Hollywood. You know, in a sense, that these guys are basically the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Girls before they just settled down and retired to Florida or yes, something. Yes, exactly. They, the Golden Girls were born in the 1600s as witches, died, came back, and moved to Miami. Yeah. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> There's a fourth one, though, isn't there? What's the mom? Yeah, Sophia. Ah. Uh, Maybe Sophia is like one of the girls, the young girls that they were going to suck up their soul, but they loved them so much that she just grew up with them. Oh, uh, maybe. But because they grow in age so slowly, because they grew them. Bitches. Right? So then they decided. I'm going to write this on Reddit <laughs> and see how many people. See, it's agree. like a, a fan theory. You know, those all the Disney ones that are like, well, the Little Mermaid, the ship, and the Little Mermaid was the parent ship from Frozen. Yes, yeah, like, so or something like that. that. Yeah. Like the uh, also uh, all the toy, no, not Toy Story, all the Pixar films are in the same universe. Yes, right, and they they kind of all make cameos. Yeah, well, that's just a thing they do anyway. Yeah, which is fun. But, Trying to load a website here about special effects. I remember watching this movie as a kid, and I had absolutely no concept of the idea that a virgin had to light the candle. Of what that meant? Yeah. I see. Like, oh, you, you lit it. I don't know anything else. It's oh, not. and therefore that's embarrassing, babe. Right. It's that was a thing in the 90s. So he's got his cool, he lights off his leg and everything. <laughs> and wind is protected by magic and wind. Okay, so the witches can't step foot in the graveyard because it's hollow uh, ground. But if she's got the ability to harness lightning, then like, can't she just pick him up right now? Yeah, bring it down from the sky. Also, she, Sarah Jessica Parker is flying over the top right. of it. She was just, Sarah Jessica Parker was just scared off by some leaves. Mm -hmm. Oh, I now understand a little bit more. So Thackeray Banks, the cat, has been waiting for hundreds of years for justice. Yes. For his sister's death. Yes. And then he gets his justice, right, at the end of this film. And he's yeah, like, well, he's then... reunited with his... Right. Sister. But then he's like, well, now what? I'm going to go get justice for other people's family members that have been murdered. And what's a good group to help? <sighs> Are you doing a bit again? The Navy. You're good. You're doing a bit again, aren't you, about some terrible crime show that's on at the moment. Is it a CSI? NCIS is not terrible. It is not CSI. It's NCIS, the Naval D. Criminal the, Investigative Service. The Naval Criminal. Correct. Wow. So they solve crime within the Navy. They found something on the bottom of that barrel, and it was... A dead body. NCIS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Billy the Butcher hey. Sin is back. No, this is... um, What's his name? Eddie or something? Billy... No. Yes. Is this Billy? This is Billy, but look at this. Look right here. Look, look at William. Of oh. course, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, you're right. It's Billy. Aww. Uh, Billy he turned out to be the hero, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of that ditch, Billy. Unset her son of Walt Disney. Are you still trying to find out how they do the cat? Yeah, Big's cat was largely. Realized using computer trickery, with most of the cat scenes completed during post-production. What is computer trickery? Yeah, what does computer mean? trickery mean? Like Chris Angel? Like what are we talking here? Oh no, Billy's head. Oh yeah, that's funny. Do you think? Do you think Max was hired for his ability just to make his eyes wider? Yeah. Oh, talking cat. A zombie without a head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're on the back of a bus. Oh, Billy's body. 
already. It looks really good. They did a pretty good job with that. Well, the zombie makeup. Yeah, it well, also, like, with him without oh, a head. Oh, with that head, yeah, because often that just looks like exactly what it is, which is someone's head is sort of tucked right. into their jumper. <laughs> The flying's okay, pretty good, that, isn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. I don't know if they could rub out the wires, but it's quite smooth. Yeah, but they're, all their clothes are moving so nicely. Yeah, moving, you know? so it's just some sort of magic it feels like keeping they're them flying. Up. Also, because of the broomsticks, it just not, doesn't look weird, I think. Yeah, Big, right. Flowy clothes. Yeah, but when that vacuum comes in. Oh That's goodness. pretty funny. So good. Because it turns out it doesn't have to be broom, it's just any kind of clean, anything you use to clean the floor with. Right, yeah. <laughs> So it means even if you just use your socks to wipe, you know, sometimes you'll wipe the edge of something right. with socks. Right. I guess you can use socks to fly in the Hocus Pocus yeah. universe. Hmm. <laughs> that is that's funny. Think of all the things. <laughs> See, look, Sarah Jessica Parker's just being a bit yeah. bug nutty. But then she also sings. They all sing, don't they? No. Bette Midler, Bette Midler sings. Well, they they sing only Sarah Jessica Parker and Bette Midler have solos. I guess the other lady whose name we can't yes. remember. Um, we're never gonna look up. No. Because that's the bit. Stick in with it. I think Bette Midler's hair as well is that orange, but also it's kind of it's growing out there. Right. Yeah. It's quite a vicious orange. We should see if that changes in other scenes. It's got to be a wig, like surely. Just stuck on, so it'll just be the same wig. I feel like the, the top... What's happening? The top of... Like, the front, the roots there, are probably her hair that they've dyed, and then the rest of it is a wig. Maybe it's... <laughs> oh, yeah, the bus <laughs> bit. Oh, this is funny. Oh, my gosh, so they're about to get on a bus, line. and we're on a bus. Call it bus. What a pickup line. Spitz is chewing out the window. This is like uh, the craft. That's another one I was going to do. The podcast, the craft. Oh, the yeah. Because yep. then that's the bus we are, the weirdos, mister. Yep. I call it bus. He is so Bostonian. <laughs> is that what it is? Yep. Get on the freaking bus. Yep. It reminds me of that man we met in Dunkin' Donuts the other day. Who was who, who, who? The man who came in and wanted oh, to talk to everybody. Yeah. Mainly us. me Mainly, and then you, because yeah, yeah. I made him. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of my fault, my bad. When he, he came in catcalling you, and then you would point his, why do you talk to my friend? And then he, he just did. So he said, um, he came in and went, mm-mm. Gore, just. <laughs> and then I said, oh, you're talking to him, and pointed at you. Yeah, you did do that. And then and he then came over were, and hugged you. He, yeah, and he also went, yeah. and he came towards ah. me. Then he did the same thing to the police officer. He did, yeah. <laughs> Which should have been maybe an indication to the police officer to maybe say, hey, buddy, why don't you shut up? Hey, buddy, move along here. Get your donuts, yeah. get out. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, the cat squashed. It's the gross thing. It reinflates in a second. We just saw this. No. Yes. Oh, he's inflated. Um. <laughs> I thought he goes, look, it's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Told you, I can't die. Cannot die, but we Okay, it let's go. Die. What? Oh, Maybe yeah, what's the method of that? It's what? What is that? Oh, he like vanquishes his sister's death so he can finally die? Yeah, or? I guess so. He does something. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. This is a great scene. Uh, this is the bit. So this is the house, isn't it? With yes. the guy. Where they leave their brooms. <laughs> what did she say? Farewell, mortal bus boy. She did. Farewell. 
<laughs> I'm just freaking out at children. These are quite eccentric costumes. Yes. Like someone's just a Tudor gent there. Someone's oh. a cupcake. Well, was that a cupcake that just oh, wait. popped by? Oh, was what that was a, that? Or was it the teapot from um, okay. uh, Beauty and the Beast? Gosh, I don't know what you were seeing. That literally looked Sonic like the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog oh, just walked yeah. past. There's the devil. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Master. <laughs> is this some... Like, is this guy a guy? Is that this is from someone from films maybe in the 70s or 80s? That guy? Yeah. Yeah, it feels like you might be a famous person. Yes, it feels like this is a cameo, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> They've clearly never met the devil, right? No. They, they worship him, though. Right. Just their vitches. Vitches of England. Oh, there go the bag of donuts. Yeah. It's pretty treacherous in here. Yeah. It is the back I'm of having the to move my laptop every once in a while. Right. So slide around. Do you know what also is interesting about the back of the bus is that slowly you get more room on your left, <laughs> <laughs> and I get more of these wheels and this luggage. All right, let's move. Let's move moving. Thank you. Oh. Let's try to sort out. Oh, oh my eardrum. <laughs> we both having. We got one headphone each, so we can hear this. Can we share a leg for the? Uh, yes, Lappy top. I'm gonna to hold it there. I love that the, she Virgin just said thing. that. She doesn't even know what I mean. That's a really 90s trope as well. That people don't want to be a virgin. This guy looks like Jim Carrey. I mean, he's not. <laughs> this cop yeah. is great. Yeah, it's funny. Oh he's God. pretty funny. I put my life on the line. The worst thing but in wait, your day. But wait, there's a little twist here, isn't there? He's not really a police officer, he's just yes. dressed up. Yep. Pull in my chain. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Get it? Because it's Halloween. Yeah, yeah, people are dressed up and stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Billy? Oh, he's lost his fingers. That's disgusting. <laughs> uh, this guy's pretty funny. This is one of the strangest things because I, even if somebody had just the greatest Halloween costume, you know what I wouldn't do? Invite them into my home. Well, that's that's what I mean. It's like, is that something people would do in this America then? Not, not this. This is weird. Sometimes people open up the house a bit, don't they? Like, there's a room and they've made it all decorated, but their house isn't decorated. Right. Like she is so mad that they're there. Also, what is what? in her hair? There's little curlers. There's little foam. Those curlers. don't look like they're doing anything. No, they don't. But I think that's the point. She doesn't really know what she's doing. So there's Got home you. remedy. Yes, right. Things as seen on TV. Oh look, it's the three kids, and they all look like the grown-ups. Yep. And they take the brooms. I love. She's so little. Yeah. The one who's playing little Je Sarah Jessica Parker. What is? Why is he playing along with this? I don't know. That's what makes it feels weird. He looks like this is a rotten dog such lives a here. Strange situation. A torture chamber. That nineties kitchen. <laughs> uh, I remember this advert. <laughs> uh, they're all so good. Uh oh. She's dancing with the. Infomaniac Sarah Jessica Parker. Slanderous. It's. There was no. She goes. The, the, the party's over. There was no party. There was no party. He invited three strangers to a non existent over, party. Yeah. Yeah. They call me master. <laughs> Face. This is when I lived in Winthrop, Massachusetts. This woman and her husband were every neighbor I had. 
Oh, a little yeah. doggo. We're little bat wings, devil wings. He did it. That he is a dog who's been trained to stand on that puppy. Yep. That puppy. Just a little. Look at that costume. Is that a tree? Is that a Groot? It's, I think a Groot. I don't think it's a Groot. Yeah. But I it's never like made a goblin -y thing. That was so well done. Is not How did she of. know it was candy? That's a good point. Did they have candy 400 years ago? No. Nice one. Yeah. Good insult, they man. They are weirdos. They are so weird. These costumes in the background. That's terrifying. A man's got yeah. like a big head thing on the background. Oh, they're I so do not good. Like All these costumes are so well made, <laughs> but the prop fun. department couldn't handle the same note in the one of those opening scenes in the high school. But, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, right, this is the this yep. is the adult party. So the best. Man best stresses part the pagan the there as well. Oh, I've got a rock band. I wonder if this is one of those cameos of a an actual band. Let's see. Yeah. Google is your friend. They've got pretty good costumes, though. So. Yeah. See, I've never been to like a. I've been to a couple of fancy dress parties, but they're never this good. There's a tiger there. Mm. Cowgirl, space woman, a knight. Uh, oh, yep, yep. Uh, his mom is about to be Madonna. Oh, yeah, with the pointy bra. Yeah. That's a very dated joke. Yep. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's up. Bye, yeah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I, my elementary school used to have parties like this. Not It was not adult only. It was everybody you would bring. Yeah. Um, you know, big Halloween parties. That was fun. There she is. Cat she's holding. And Madonna. Why is she not shocked to see her child there? I don't know. That's a good point. Was this... Like the early 90s then that happened, which wore yes. the pointy bra and had the big headphone yes. microphone yeah. thing. Why is that cat so docile? Is it drugged? Yeah, it might, it might not be real. <laughs> puppy, puppet cat. What's also weird about Thora Birch is it looks like she doesn't have any eyelashes or eyebrows right. in this. Right, well, it's because all of it is concentrated on her lips. <laughs> I quite want a t-shirt like that. Uh, the front man of that band is wearing. You do have a the skeleton like that. rib cage. Do I? Yeah, you have that striped one that you wear every day. No, but his is like a skeleton rib cage. Look. Oh. Not when I'm dressed like a gondola. Got it. You do have a gondola t-shirt. <laughs> I do. I do. Or oh, I should have a beret and a. Yes, absolutely. Be a French man. Or get black pants and a whistle, and you could just walk into any sporting event in the U.S. <laughs> Blow a whistle. Oh, hi, Keith. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, Keith is getting something out of his bag. There's an Elvis. There's an Elvis in the background. There's a mummy. Oh, See, these are all great costumes. They're so good. And she flirts with everyone. And I love it. See, this is another trope of stuff. Someone grabbing, interrupting the musician to yeah. do an announcement, and no yep. one believes him. Right. Frasier does that a couple of times. <laughs> Frasier. Frasier. In the movie Frasier. Oh, Frasier. there's Annalisa. Hi. In the movie Frasier. The TV oh, series TV Frasier. Yes. Yeah. It should be a movie. It should be everything. It should be. There should be more Kelsey Grammer. Um, no, there should be more Frasier. There should be more Frasier. You're yeah. quite right. Sorry, I get the two confused. <laughs> When Frasier was the beast in X-Men. Oh, very good. With a marvelous Here introduction. Hello, what's what? Hey, what? me, Ben Midler. Oh. Oh, yes, this is... Yeah, I feel physically uncomfortable during the uh, song bit. You're doing the moves, Joshua. Mm -hmm. Stop doing the moves. This is, this is, this is an audio format. <laughs> Josh is dancing. I had no idea you knew this film so well. <laughs> wait for it. There's a beetle there. Oh, she's so good. 
hit us, but oh man. Yes. Where's that range? Is that range? Is that a bet middle squeal? Hello, bet. I'm Kayla. Oh boy. So I'm assuming this is something they practiced 400 years ago as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Into, into the microphones. Into the microphones. They understood what those objects were. Of course. But no, Ben Midler does not need a mic. No, Only the backup not. singers. Yeah, absolutely. This is a bit much, isn't watch it? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, Billy. Oh, the scene is so good. It is actually very good, isn't it? Did they release this, do you think, as a song? Bette Midler. Absolutely, absolutely. Was this the era where you could have a tie-in song? It's very much yes. was. Yes. But Bette Midler? Mm -hmm. Really? This is such a great song. I guess, yes. No, I just meant... I say goodbye, I'm a baby up and die. In Kama Koryama, hey, I... When was the last time you watched this film? <laughs> give me is it going to be like Harry Potter or is it like give me a period of time no because Harry Potter was halfway through when we went to go watch it <laughs> yes, because it was. I was watching it the day before uh, uh, this probably a year ago come home like last okay. Halloween I think maybe I watched this a year ago but yeah this is one of those movies that you would watch every single year like White Christmas yes I was reading an article about to try and find out some stuff and it said this is to Halloween what Home Alone and Muppet Christmas Carol yes, is absolutely the same era also White Christmas White Christmas yeah. which one's that okay at some point we're going to need to watch that here's why it doesn't necessarily have magic elements but it's magical right because it's Christmas no. and it's about the magic no. of meeting people and falling in love in here's the thing it features a star studded cast it's We've got Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, um, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen. Vera Ellen, if you don't know who that is, holds, still holds the record for fastest tap dancing feet in the world. She's amazing. So she's going to dance a lot with Danny Kaye. And then Bing Crosby and Clooney are definitely going to be, right? Five, five note octave there yeah. <laughs> are definitely going to do some duets yep. and then there you got Christmas and then it's the 50s so you've got presentational acting and best line in the whole movie ready mm -hmm. goes like this Benny Be Benny who is their brother has been out of the country uh, wait oh, wait now I have to remember it got it Benny got a job in Alaska he's been out of the country for three months it was before Alaska was a state. Right. Classic Christmas movie. Why aren't you <laughs> as excited about this um, as I am? Yeah, I was confused about the Alaska thing. Well, just get ready because yeah. we're going to watch it. I did watch It's a Wonderful Life the first yes. time properly last Christmas in America. Oh. It was good. I enjoyed yeah. it. That's a very nice classic. It's a deeply tragic, awful, very. depressing film. Yes. Ah, yeah, she. But Christmas. Oh, there's their walk again. There's their walk again. Oh. <laughs> that face is a bit much of the one whose name we can't remember. Oh, I just love it. It's just great. It's everything that 90s character acting should be. Yeah, a funny face and yeah. a costume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Her, like, clear one ability is to smell children. Yeah, that's true. She's the, she's the blood hand of this gang. So I like to... One kid is clearly very good at sculpture right. there, because yeah. there was what? everything out like a papa mache mess. <laughs> However, the middle was. Uh, even uh, these are good. I, when I was in college, pots. I took a pottery class, and I basically failed because I couldn't make could, anything could, that would stand. You couldn't potter. I made one final sculpture, and it was a vase. I was so proud of it. Did it coil style, so you roll out thin coil, so yeah, then yeah, yeah. right, 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 smush it. it all together. And the teacher was like, "All right, this is pretty nice." glazed it really pretty. I'm probably going to pass you based off of this pot. And then she put it in the kiln and the whole bottom exploded. Yeah, you didn't do it properly. <laughs> nope. nope. Uh, my parents still have that pot. <laughs> it's just exploded. Yeah, they were just proud exploded that I base. did something that could stand up, I think. <laughs> Not usable. Did you get the medal pretty... of the 
At least you tried. Um, yeah, ba- in yeah basically, basically. Yes, and then the teacher said, you don't need to come back here ever again. Let me just point out in this film that these children are related. They've just incinerated three women. Right. Um, little do they know. Is it once they're dead, he's free from the curse? But weren't they dead before? How were they dead? I think that he might... Because you know how he got smushed by the bus and then he comes back to life, in mm-hmm. a sense? I think he might die. And Does he then, die in the hallowed ground? Yes. But then he, then they die. Got you. And then, he's, then he just kind of stays dead. Got it. And then comes back, reunited with his sister. As a force ghost. Right. Yes. Who then solidifies and becomes the greatest NCIS agent ever known. Right. Yeah. This is the program I have not watched or will ever watch. I don't understand why you're so upset. Fish. There's fish everywhere in this house. Look. There's fish in that picture there. There's fish in that picture there. It's because they're in Salem. There's a lot of fishing in Salem. Well, yeah. It's the... It's the... Um, it's run by fish. Yeah. Huge giant fish. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so it's on the harbor. The people go fishing. These guys are all under a spell, so they can't stop dancing, can they? Right. Got it. There was a guy dressed as someone from Tron there as well. Oh, that's what I was saying. Yep, hers are fish as well. They're actually the exact same bed sheets. As the boy has. Yep. Yes. Must come as a double pack. Jeeper then, in it, with parents. Especially they can spend all their money on the Madonna costume. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is not a comfortable sleeping position. No, like, they're Why both going to get very uncomfortable. La, la, la. She falls asleep so quickly. She does, yeah. And gone. Oh, no, not quite gone. There it is. Oh, it makes me miss my Them cat. too! Oh, but wait. That's just a screaming pile of green gas. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> See, there's that terrible sculpture look. That's a very bad one. And then there was that one that was absolutely. So, is this. Perfect. So, well, how Bette Miller's hair right here is? Is this what your hair does in humidity? Is that right? <laughs> I'm right, right? Yes. Yes, there we go. We <laughs> even have to bring it up. <laughs> have they TP'd that house? Oh, absolutely. Oh my god. See, the heat, yes. Sorry. The bus is, we're going through a toll and uh, hit something. Boinker. You boinker. Also, is this, uh, oh, I shouldn't say things. DeFranco, no. DeFranco. Franco. James Franco. James Franco. He looks a lot like James Franco. He does. But blonde. But he can act better than James Franco. Yes, that's true. And the guy on the left looks like a potato. She's brilliant. She's absolutely yeah. brilliant crazy. She's so good. Why isn't she crazy more often? Yeah, it's funny because you can, you don't realize how good Sarah Jessica Parker actually is. No, yeah. Because she's... She's just the she's woman just from Sex and the City. She's like, what is she, doesn't she just write in a notebook all day in her thing in Sex and the City? Yes, and have a com- some sort of complicated relationship with yeah. someone. Yeah, and like walk around New York City. And, and buy shoes and clothes and yes. stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not really acting. No. I, we need a spell like that. The remember spell. Yeah. Especially after like seven shows. I don't remember, remember my script. Remember. Oil of boil. Dead man's nose. It's going to be uncomfortable doing that with your jaw and mouth. The one who yeah. could, we can't remember the name of. She's got, she's got this side mm. mouth, but then she's got these teeth. So oh, she's yeah. Also and Sarah Jessica Parker's just been painted pale. Yes. Pale. And she just has to sort of dance and bounce around the room. That's true. She should be slightly crazy. <laughs> she's just spinning them around. Oh, yeah. they trapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to say bath then, but he said puke. Right. Bath would have been 90s accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I know that she has such projection that a crossed 
It's, it's true. Such a powerful voice. Yeah, she does. Why did they keep, keep the creepy book? Hi, we've been asleep for literally four minutes. Oh my god. Oh wait, and the parents are still dancing, aren't they? Yeah. Just in the night away. Nobody cares. Where are, are they? In the attic or something? Or is this the girl's room? Is it his room? It's just a lot of boats. Is there all of a sudden a clock ticking? In the film? Yeah. I don't know. It's too noisy on this just bus. Away. I think it was like when she picked up that clock. So all of a sudden, some clock ticking. Some, art, some foley artists had to put it in. Yeah. When do I take it out? Uh, just slowly <laughs> throughout. <laughs> Are they in the basement? I think they're. Are they close to the attic? I don't know. Then why would there be stairs? Yeah. Probably much more accurate. Yeah. Basement. Basements. American houses often have like a basement. Yeah. yeah. That's where they put something like a dartboard. Yes. Like it, it's a very pool table. Yes. Or tiki bar. Hide someone. Hide someone. That you don't want anyone to know exists. It's true. A talking cat, for example. Yes. Oh boy. See, that's why I thought they were in that that little attic room. Is because the light just comes out of that Makes attic sense. room. But oh, maybe they are though. But there were stairs going up. Where would there be stairs? It's the same. The same question is why did they know how to sing into a microphone? That's true. That is still bothering me. She's doing a weird kind of yes. Eastern European voice. The other two aren't. No, it's because she's sad. She's sad. Is... For the old cunt. Yes. <laughs> What's that? There's a light shining up, shooting up into the sky. I thought that was like a modern trope. All like superhero films have the big. Oh orange or blue light right. shooting the sky but here we are 1993 yep. it was an orange one yeah it's like one of those big things that tell you that there's a carnival going on I'm talking about the like a big stuff. light in the yeah. light yeah. Yeah, yeah like a nightclub might have it yes something oh here uh -oh. they come da -la 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 -la. see the flying's really good it looks so good it's also her Smooth, like they and all she's got a mop. do it there we go. so well. They do. <laughs> and here's the Hoover <laughs> gag. Oh, it's vacuum cleaner. Ah. <laughs> it's a funny gag, though. Yep. Oof, that's gonna <laughs> hurt, right? That's gonna. <laughs> Ouch. That's so great. Oh, they're just casually reading the book that's glowing orange. Yeah. Is this like. Toxic? Are we gonna die? I think I think it's a built-in reading light. Ah, it's like a Kindle. Thank God the cat was paying attention. <laughs> they must have like CGI animated onto the cat's face. Yes. But still, you can't train a cat to do anything. Right. Like you just throw a cat at something, or right. you just wait until it touches their face. Right. <laughs> Probably somebody dangling like a little ball behind his it's ear. True, or a laser beam just yes. on his face. Oh. That's probably it. They were sat just on some cushions on their stairs and fell asleep. But they Why fell asleep they at a perpendicular angle. That's true. Both of their hair are still fine. Yes, of course. I remember that I... really well from my childhood. The fingernail oh, going yes. down the screen yep. door. Yep. Dun 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 dun. It's a very 90s picture there as well, yeah. just a slightly crap picture of a bush. Yes. <laughs> a tree. Slightly Seven ups, one ship. So what's he looking for? Ah, make a cycle assault. I've always wanted to do that as a gag in a show, saying, don't worry, you're going to actually find, she gets some salt and starts pouring a circle around them. That would be great. So people start freaking out or not. <laughs> like a religious encounter in magic before like you <laughs> wait hold on for are, you, are you about to tell me about that I'm about to tell you the time I found God and, <laughs> <laughs> um, he was behind the freezer <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, no like somebody who's super religious coming to you because you're a magician uh no 
don't think so, no. no nothing comes to mind, so no. People who've had, who are psychics have told me stuff. Oh, yeah. And I want to go, oh, I think you've just... You've just had some experiences that make you think it's like right. just coincidences. Right. Will Will has one. Will has what? He has this experience that he was like, it, I felt like I could talk to my friend who had died. Oh, yeah. It's just your imagination. Because he just died. You're like, what would be great right now if I could talk to him? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me real quick imagine that. Also, you have a com- imaginary conversations with the living people all the time. All of the time. It just has no significance if they're alive. Oh, oh my oh. god, woof. That's bad. Why did the explosion happen? I kind of forgot that they destroyed part of their house. Parents are going to be furious. My parents don't care. Oh. <laughs> when does Sarah Jessica Parker sing? Does she, can she actually sing? I bet she probably can. I'm sure she doesn't song. sing. What does she sing? In At what point? Life or in this song? Or in this movie? In this movie. Right now. It's about to happen. Is it? Bring the little brats to die! Have you just listened to these? You've been watching just these songs on YouTube, haven't you? No. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. She's singing. Yeah. She looks distracting like Noel Fielding there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't sound like she can sing because because it's very quiet. It's very it sounds like it's been they doubled yes. it or tripled it a few times to make her voice yes. a bit more. Yeah. But she's so okay. So she's enticing on the children. So now we have officially understood all of the witches' powers. Yeah. That Midler has harnessing electricity. Yeah. Uh, the sisters whose name we can't remember can smell children. Yeah. And Sarah Jessica Parker can summon S- children. Summon them with a song. Right. Pied Piper style. Right. And the children are rats. Here they come. Yeah, good job, Max. Just yell, don't powers. listen to her. I mean, yeah. Well, witches just have spells. Right. But they have innate powers, don't they? A little bit. But the things they are bestest at. And there's a reason they haven't said any spells is because they haven't had their book? Yes, exactly. Okay. And she couldn't remember the spell, could she earlier, Bette Midler? Right. But it's not a... Uh, there's not much of a show in what their powers currently are, are they? Yeah. We gather an audience. You could find a place where the audience are. And then put on a sort of lightning electricity show. It's not like a museum. It does. <laughs> Gosh, I... I'm genuinely impressed by the flying. Yeah. <laughs> And then she just gets off, then she just goes. Then she just walks. There's no cut there, there's nothing. No. Children. <laughs> I love this. Cat in a bag. He's got a slightly odd someone doing a British, ye olde British voice. It, right. It, it, I find it slightly grating every time he speaks. But it's also been 400 years of him living in Salem, Massachusetts. That's true. That it's going away. Ralph. He said Ralph. That's another I'm going to Ralph. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Young and beautiful again. How much younger are you going to get, girl? Because <laughs> you look like Bette Midler. Do you think oh, Bette Midler in that moment was like... I hope still not. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ew. I don't have cauldrons anymore. Yeah, witches are boring now. I was always impressed by like a cauldron full of smoke. It's always a good thing. Or yes. a little drink full of smoke. That was a classic, like yes. in The Monsters. Yep, yep. Yeah, dry ice. Yeah, we, you can make those. And you do it with, like, the... If you flavor them or whatever with the uh, eggplant. If you, like, mash an eggplant. Yeah. And you put dry ice and it changes color. Huh. Where do you get dry ice from? A store. Is that... You can't, I don't in the, know. In the UK, you can't buy dry ice at the store. Yeah, you can probably just grab it at the gas station. That's true. A pack of camels and some dry ice, please. Thank you. A pack of camels. Next to a camel. 
Oh, it's the sun. Oh, the trick in the moon's daylight. That's These very features well are not done. the brightest, are they? No. Well, they don't. They have no idea what a car is. Oh yeah, that's funny. I'm dying. They <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, really. Uh, this cast is fairly good. It is. Except him. He could stay in his cage. <laughs> he could stay in there. Oh, oh yeah, they stole his, his sneakers. He's still in back. Conveniently. Why are his laces tied together? Why are his tubular? Why totally he tubular. that man needs new socks. They have holes in them. Kid's kinda kid's kinda messed up in the head. Yes. You see the witches turn to dust. She also definitely thought it was the sun. Yes. She should be not as fooled. Why do they turn? Is it they're only alive during Halloween night? They, yeah, they, if they eat children, they'll be fine. Ah, uh, I got you. Eat, yeah, doesn't they, each child just sort of glow? Suck out their then, soul. Yeah. yeah. It would be a bit much in a Disney film if they literally ate a child. Um, num, 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 right. Num, num. <laughs> Disney would be very daring in this film. They've already said virgin, so. Yep. Can't the first further. Disney film to yes. say virgin. And Still. after that, yeah, the floodgates open. <laughs> Pirates of the Virgin. Pirates of the Frozen Virgin. <laughs> Tangled Virgin. The Lion Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion Virgin. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> the time. Why do they want the children? Just get rid of them. They, well, they were going to just try to eat all, almost all of their souls, but they now they only have enough potion for one. Uh, and they're not going to, they so want to pick, they, Ben Midler's like, I need to have that one yeah. little girl. They called me ugly. Ugly. Let me real quick use I my sister's get, wrist yeah. <laughs> as a cleaner. Get rid of the teeth. Ah, toast! Oh, she's just so good. Is he old enough to drive? Um, I'm going to saying absolutely not. Okay. But. Because she looks like 23, but he right. looks 17. Which is because they, maybe they are of not that age possibly. difference. Yeah. Why you does she know? You don't know what a driver's permit is. Uh, no. Inconsistencies in this. Just. See. So she's she does, making good jokes. That's true. She kind of breaks the fourth wall as well, doesn't she? Dun, 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 dun. It's all right. You're a cat. You can run faster. Right. <laughs> you need to you know, to hurry. They, the witches could have solved Billy. all of their problems if she didn't have to have his sister. Yeah, just pick any other child. They're all right there. They're li they literally all showed up at your front door. Oh, yeah. He's going to cut open his mouth. He's going to cut open his mouth. This bit's disgusting, though. It's not when he goes... Poof. Right. <laughs> uh, so gross. Moths fly out. Ugh. Makes me feel a bit ill. Fantastic 1680s insult. Did you say wench as well, not yes. wench? Yes. Wench. And trollop. Trollop. Yep. <laughs> Better. Uh. <laughs> Hang Madness. on to your head. He's a zombie. He's a zombie. A dusty zombie. Oh, he's a nice zombie. He's a happy zombie now. He remembers who he is. Not like the ones in The Walking Dead. <laughs> ah, this whole thing's a prequel to The Walking Dead. Oh. Ah, oh, the little kid becomes friends with the ugly zombie. Nike, another sponsorship by Nike. So. And sponsored by Salt. Hey, kids. <laughs> just the brand. Have Salt. Yes. Uh, so, if you think about it, the Hocus Pocus 
the spin-offs from this movie were Golden Girls. Yes. The Walking Dead. Walking Dead. And NCIS. And Nike. <laughs> and Nike. And Nike. And James Franco. Oh right, yes. Oh, and Sabrina. And Sabrina the Teenage yep. Witch. Yep. This, well, the cat's called Salem in there. So. Right, which is where he's from. Yep. Makes sense. Hundred and ten percent. And I've got this bat. Classic baseball bat. Let's go swing it. Swing it, miss. She can harness electricity. Yeah. Your bat is not going to do anything. Should, that should have broken her fingers, shouldn't it? No, she's Bette Midler. <gasps> that must have been so much fun to shoot. Cause she, she's going at proper speed there, wasn't yep, she? On some really cool track. Oh, that too. That too. That's not her, surely. Yeah, but it, does, it just Stunt steps woman. up its game so much in this last scene. Ah. <laughs> That's funny, right? Duck. Uh, he's lost his head again. Uh -oh. oh, no, no more salt. No more salt. Why did she get oh, out of the salt circle? She's an idiot. Oh, because she's nice. Get Billy's head back. Also, why would you just stand there with your hands up like I that? I don't know. Ready to be caught, almost. Right. <laughs> Literally just giving her a place to hold on to. You. Billy's head reattaches very easily, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. How do you think he's doing that? Is it just... Um, probably his flesh from years of rotting is oh, just glue. That's okay, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Could say anything, earwax, glue, anything. Oh, this is when he's. Cat to the rescue! Is, yes. Oh, that's it, yes. My formula. Now, okay, so this is where he. Jeez, pretty dies. brutal. And he hits the, the plastic rock that moved more <laughs> yeah, than Yeah, wobbles, yeah. Okay, so now Max is gonna drink this, right? Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he just smash it on the ground? I don't know. Because it would be gone, right? As in. It just seems like dun, a dun, really dun, irresponsible. Dun. It does. Oh my god, I ran a bridge. Oh no. Ah. You're freaking out because we're on a bridge. I don't like bridges. Why not? Has <laughs> a bridge ever done to you? Collapsed. <laughs> to you? No. <laughs> in a film you saw once? Alright, listen. In Animal Kingdom in Disney World, on the safari adventure, there's a bridge that fake collapses every time. And the first time I went on it was the moment that it scarred me from You've bridges forever. <laughs> I don't like bridges. Yep, never again. Being see-through and slightly glowy, that's a 90s ghost thing as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. Still being affected oh. by the laws of gravity, etc. Of course. Oh, Oh, she, uh, she forgot about the power cord. You have to have one that retracts. <laughs> See, that's less. It's a bit slow. They're being moved yes. around on wires there, isn't it? <laughs> She's just trying to suck in his right. soul. <laughs> Closer to me. I like. I think in a, in a second she's about to do it. Yeah. Really fast. Oh. Oh no. This isn't. And this ground. is why she turns into stone. It's because she hits the ground. Oh yeah. Everybody else just explodes first. Dun dun dun. She looks a bit like the new it. Oh, Doesn't you're she? right. So another spin-off. Makes sense. So many spin-offs in that. I mean, it is very good. See, there we go. This is acting of um, wide eyes again. Ah, Oh, 
Oh, oh here comes the statue. Uh, that's, oh, that doesn't look quite right though, does it? Nope. <laughs> that's nope. not a great statue. Oh no. Oh, you ripped Another spin off, awesome Weeping awesome Angels from uh, uh, the oh. Doctor Who. Gosh. Now I'm never sleeping again. Who is she saying goodbye to? Winnie, her sister. Oh. Best. Boom. Boom. Dangerous. There's concrete going everywhere. <laughs> Glittery concrete. Oh no, uh, there he goes. Oh, it looks like my cat. That Aww. makes me sad. Well, he's not in the inside of a couch, so. That's true. Can't yeah, that is what my cat did the other day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, How's why is Billy still alive? Why is the zombie still fine? He just gets back in the soil in a bit, right. doesn't he? Calls it a life. Yeah. Very it's happy. a job. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how he could be so fine. Just so chill with it. When she just sucked out half of his soul. Yeah. Why? I love you, jerk face. Jesus. I know neither you of us have your siblings. Life. Yeah. But it's just a really strange relationship. It is odd, isn't it? Happy little family. Thanks, See, Billy. Thanks, Billy. Oh, he's, oh, he's tired. tired. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, no, Binks. Binksy. Dramatically dying. Are they saying Binks or Hinks? I think Binks. I think it is Binks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty masked. Thackeray! See, Binks is a great name for a cat, so it's lucky yes. that was his surname. Right. It is. It's right, Thackeray Binks? Isn't yeah. That yeah. That's his grave right there. Uh, got it. Everything. Oh, there it is. Yep. She's sad, Very but smart. don't be sad because... I'm here. I'm a ghostist. Just as a pirate for some reason. <laughs> My soul is so free, and you've yeah. inspired me so. But I will now go save crime, solve crime. <laughs> the naval criminal stop, investigator. Stop doing the bit. The bit is annoying me. Stop doing the bit. Isn't that what bits are? Just things to annoy me. Correct. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. look. She's acting as if it hasn't been 400 years. Yep. She's just been chilling behind that tree. Yeah, yeah. I'm just biding my time. <laughs> He'll be here any moment. See, this is slightly odd. Right. My cat became a human, at least 10 years older than me. Yes. Gave me a little kiss on the cheek. Walking off into the sunrise. Smiling and waving. So here would be an interesting longitudinal studney. Studney? <laughs> yeah. I kept going with my thought before I said the word. Yeah. Longitudinal studney. Studney. Stud what is what is Danny like now as an adult? Who's Danny? My Her, the little sister. Um, I bet you she's super screwed up. Yeah, she is uh, Winona Ryder in Beetlejuice. She became that, and then... Another spin-off! Yes, there we go! Which I saw some stuff, things. man, because uh, the older brother went off to college. Right. You know. This is great. You've never seen again? Oh! post credit sting before it was cool. These are all the adults just being exhausted. Shouldn't they be dead or something, though? Yeah, you would think that, right? Is that someone dead in the background there, or is that a... That's oh, a, that might be a dead... That might a, be someone's that's head. a model. Oh. oh, yeah, those two are left there. <laughs> Sing it. Row, row, row your boat. Are they doing a cannon of row, row, row your boat? That's great. No, 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 no. But and wait. here's the setup for Hocus Pocus 2. Which will happen right? 30 years later. Also, this has got to be really... Like a creepy like, little eye. I don't like it. It's this animation's got to be... 
or its method has got to be really interesting too. Yeah, which it's surely just like a little uh, animatronic yes. thing. Yeah, but the island looks really good. It does look good. Dancer. Now I'm dancing. Hello, Peggy Holmes, dancer. Boy in class. Calamity Jane, I see. Oh, there's so many ADR voices. There is so much. Angie Neff, that's a good name. Miss Midler's makeup. Miss Midler's old age makeup. Miss Midler's hairstylist. Does anyone else have that? They just get the regular one. Oh, I love that. She was a star. <laughs> Digital wire removal. There we go. They digitally wire removal yes. it. Pixar. This but must be before Pixar so was Pixar. Right. Ink and paint. I think rotoscope and ink and paint, that would be how they add the electricity. Right. The electricity was done by Best Boy. Do you know, you live in LA. What's I a, do. what is a Best Boy? What's a Dolly Grip? What do they do? Films are made in LA, I thought maybe you might know. Um, you know how I know all the royal family? Right. Because I'm from Ingo land. Right. Hello, I'm British. Hello. It's me doing a British accent. That's Hello. Really good. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Okay. Way more impressed than I thought it was going to be. Most people got assistants here. Mr. Winter, Mr. Hat, Mr. Hatton, two assistants. Gosh. Cast assistants. Studio teacher. See, they're looking after the kids, teaching mm, them stuff. That's great. It's got a suck. Timer. Any time color. <laughs> I don't know. What does that even mean? <laughs> Talking cat animation. Oh, Rhythm and Hughes. That's quite a well known digital company. Uh, okay, yep. Because they've got such a good name. Head trainer. Hey, the American Humane oh. Association monitored all animal sequences, right. so they're all fine. I thought somebody's job was a head trainer. I thought they were training Billy's head when it fell off. <laughs> I didn't realize it was just the lead. Did you, though? Athletic trainer. What? Did you think that, though? Yep, I did. I love it that every film always has to have a bit saying like anything, any uh, relation to anyone alive or dead is purely coincidental. Yes. It's like, yeah, this happened, definitely happened to someone once. Didn't this? Right. I'm going to sue. So many lawsuits. Oh, uh, and yeah, that's I, the end of the movie. I do forget that at most movies at the end of the credits just not have another scene to watch. <laughs> that's true. So if you watch a Marvel film, there's often five. Yeah, every Pirates of the Caribbean. There was no Stan Lee in that one. <laughs> I might have misunderstood. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did it. Yeah. Should we start, should we start a rating system? Of, of movies films? or yeah. of our episode? <laughs> of movies that we've watched. Yeah. So, so what do we rate it? I don't know. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. That's boring. Oh. Because it's just binary yes or no. Um, the stars. How many magic hats? Yeah. How many... How many magic hats it is should the be best? Released, it should be related to the film. So how many broomsticks? Oh, because our, well, our... Ep Jinxing the broom? Yeah. How okay. many jinxed brooms many do jinxed we give brooms? this? Give it. Oh, that's laboured, isn't it? Uh, out of how many? 111. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the film was good. I enjoyed the film. I'll watch it again next Halloween. I give it... How, how many? How many? Out of how many? How many? Do what you think. Like, out of what, five. What feels five. Really good for you. I would say I'd give it three stars out of five brooms. <laughs> three stars out of five brooms. Yes. Um, I thought the film was extraordinary, classic piece of cinema. I will watch it uh, again in a month when it is Halloween, mm -hmm. and probably uh, every other day for the month of October. And I give it uh, 12 jinxed brooms out of 10 jinxed brooms. <laughs> so I like the way you just, we just, we have two different systems. Yes. Perfect. I think the film's good. Oh, I watch right. the film again. It's fun. Yeah, it's great. I cringe a bit at the singing bit though. Why? Because it's, 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 so it's Bet Midler. It's so, it's so natural. They move into it so organically. Absolutely. And now I cannot unhear the bits where they know modern things. I know it's a Disney film. Let me see a learner's permit. 
They knew what microphones were and she knew what candy was. Right. And driving. And driving. But yeah. they were still freaked out by it. They still thought that headlamps are sunlight. Right. Just moments before Just that. Literally seconds before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm still going to 12 out of 10 jinx rooms. Okay. Mine's still three stars out of four or five brooms, whatever I said yeah. it was before. <laughs> I did a bit and I can't remember what the bit was. The bit's perfect. There we go. That's another episode. Yeah, we did it. Yay. Second one. Second one. Oh my gosh. But technically ep one, because I called the first one ep zero. Ah. Nice. <laughs> nice. We should probably do another one on this tour bus. Now? Unless it turns out. Not right now. God, no. I need a snack. Would be great. Yeah. How long? Stop? Should we look at see? Let's Can we stop update. At a restaurant? Maybe. I'm sick of Indian. So we right. are traveling. Where were we? We were in Red Bank, New Jersey. Uh, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Well, no, this yeah, morning. yeah. But then we traveled, and then we were in somewhere in Pennsylvania, whatever it was you right. just said. King of Prussia. Um, King of Prussia. Prussia. King of Prussia. Yeah. Right. Okay. And now we're traveling to. Columbus. Columbus sailed to the ocean blue. Do 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 do. Oh no! It's okay. two and a half hours are away. I am not joking. We are still going. So We're we still have, on a bus. We do in fact have enough time. We to could watch do. the sixth Harry Potter film. And the sixth one. I don't think I've seen the fifth or the fourth. How many films are there? Seven. Uh, eight. Oh. Eight. I don't include the. Where are the monsters? They're in the case. No. Oh. There are eight films, because the last book is split oh, into two Oh, jeez. Last one I remember watching had uh, the vampire boy in, and he died. Yeah, that's that's where everything changes. Oh. Is that the one she has the time thing, too? No. Uh, and then I've seen that one. That's the third one. What one is, has vampire boy in? Four. Oh, so then I have seen beyond that. Yes, okay, so four. But you haven't seen five. What happens in five? Um, Voldemort's back. That's every film. No. Yes, it is. No, in, not in full. He's back in full form, full power. But tell me other stuff that happens then. Um, there's the Order of the Phoenix. So everybody's getting ready for the is war. Is that when Gandalf that smacks his hand and disappears? Poof! Big fireball. The Phoenix dies and comes back. Um, no, uh, Just tell me something yes. that happens. Yes. Yes, there we go. Okay. Then I have um, seen that one, I think. No, you haven't. I haven't? No? I don't know. Um, uh, it's where uh, Sirius dies. Sirius? Sirius Black. Gary Oldman. Brickman. Oh. He's only in two films, though. Correct. So then I have seen that one. Okay. Maybe only once in a long time ago. Great. He's not, he's no longer a ratty prisoner of jail. No. Okay, so you have seen Burr of the Phoenix. Yes. And then that's it? What's the one after that? Half-Blood Prince. What happens in that? Um, Dumbledore dies. Uh, but comes back again? No. Then no. Spoilers for anyone else in Harry Potter, by the way. <laughs> I also just spoiled it for you. I don't mind, though. Okay. Like I know what happens and who dies and what happens at the end of the all of the stories. Alright. Anyway, bye. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. If you did listen, if you didn't listen, doesn't matter. Because then we wouldn't be saying bye. No. Go back to the okay. It's an awkward sign off. There should be a sign off. You know how you have people have a sign off. Right. You have a podcast. You have a mm -hmm. a hello bit, a topper, and a tailor. Right. What's your tailor on your? What do you say at the end? Um, we say. Uh, thanks for listening to Shazam and remember and then we say something that pertains to the episode like, okay like thanks for listening to Shazam and remember don't sexually assault people because <laughs> <laughs> some of you need, still needs remindings yeah um, so this should have a sign off maybe a different one every episode so thanks for listening to Jinxing the Broom uh, the commentary for Hocus Pocus and remember why are you stealing our <laughs> sign off <laughs> or I don't know I need a thing Remember, don't hocus pocus if you can't focus mocus. Come up with your own sign off. Um, Can't we just have a theme song? 
jinxing the broom. Yeah, but... Th <laughs> That's, whoa, what happened there? <laughs> Looks like that came from nowhere. Just had to burst into song like Bette Midler. Of course. Uh, I'm trying to think of like a sign off thing. Something from the film. I imagine. Goodbye, wench. <laughs> Trollop? Yeah. I imagine that. Oh, wait, I know what we can say. Farewell, mortal bus driver bus boy bus, bus boy yes i imagine the two people who are listening to this which are um, <laughs> you and me and daisy yes uh would maybe have some suggestions yeah so meg and daisy suggestions if you happen to, to listen to us. this please tell us what yeah. we should say right now well, we'll wait farewell mortal bus boy